Hey guys, I wanted to make a video here checking out the USB on the go capabilities of the Nexus 5. We all know the Nexus 4 had a little bit of a problem with this. It didn't quite have the hardware to power the external drive, so you needed external power, which was a little bit of an annoying, annoying problem. The Nexus 5 doesn't have that issue, so it is going to work. What you're going to need here is an on-the-go USB cable. You can get these from Amazon for a few pounds. One end is a micro USB, the other end is a full USB. And yeah, what you're going to need on your Nexus 5 is a little bit of software. Now, if you're rooted, you can use the free software called Stick Mount. You can get that from the Play Store. If you're not rooted, it still works, but you're going to need the Nexus Media Importer app, and that's paid. That's the only reason I'm not using it is because Stick Mount is the cheaper option, and I was already rooted. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Plug this end into the Nexus 5 here. And the first stick we're going to try is a FAT32 formatted disk. So we'll plug this in. Okay, straight away we have some action. Press OK here. It's going to mount it for me. Mass storage device mounted. Tells me where it is. You can see SD card, USB storage, SDA1. So you will need a file explorer to actually go and uh, check it out. So we're already in the SD card here. USB storage, SDA1. And that's the file I have on this disc. And you can play stuff from it. It plays really well. You can see we'll open up in Dice Player here. Really good episode of The Walking Dead, the last one, if you haven't seen it. So that's playing from this USB stick right here. You can copy stuff to it. You can take stuff away from it. So, yeah, it works no problem. No lags or anything like that. So next up, we'll try this next USB drive. And this is formatted slightly differently. It's in NTFS. So we'll uh, plug this in, see if it works. Okay, press OK to mount. And should be the same deal. There we go. Go into ES File Explorer. Oh, I was already in the video. My bad. And yep, yeah, there's the picture. So it can read it and it can uh, view the pictures. So this is pretty great. So you can have a 16 gigabyte Nexus 5 like I have right here, but you could have you know a massive 128 gigabyte USB drive that you could plug into it and get all the files so you can expand your storage if you have a little cable like this i'm also going to try a massive two terabyte drive so let's go ahead and do that so i've just moved over to my hard drive where it's all plugged in and you can see it's plugged into my tv so we're plugging this into my nexus 5 right now you'll see the little light come on in the, in the middle of the screen you can see that there and this is a two terabyte drive so it is externally powered anyway because you know two terabytes is going to need external power but let's see if the nexus 5 can do this I'm just going to turn the brightness down a little bit here because it's stupid bright. And there we go. So stick mount has recognized it. Let's see if we can mount. You can see the little flickering white light going on over there. So something is happening. And there's the mount point as well. It looks a little bit different to how it had before, but let's check it out. And yeah, I messed up here. You need to actually kind of refresh the Explorer. But there it is. There's the drive. So there's my stuff, my movies. We'll dive into TV shows, Big Bang Theory. You can see all the image art and stuff like that. We'll actually dive into one of these and play it. Uh, and there you go, you can see it's playing without a problem. So yeah, pretty awesome here guys. USB on the go works fine on the Nexus 5 with KitKat. So yeah, peace out.